Alright, guys. So, yeah, I've got another Who Would Win. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, Azula versus Cat Noir. This one just, like, came out the fuck nowhere. And when I say came out the fuck nowhere, this is what happens when I watch too much, uh, Ava when I'm rewatching all of Avatar Season 3, and then suddenly I flip back and there's Cat Noir right there. This is how my mind works, people. We're, we, we just gotta learn to deal with it. I don't like it either. So, yeah. Azula versus Cat Noir. How would that go down? Now, first off, um, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Adrian's power, uh, you know, his miraculous, doesn't, you know, it has a time limit. There, you know, he can't hold on to that power forever. Azula, on the other hand, she can. So if, you know, Adrian turns back, it's all over for him. Now, the big thing here is that um, Cat Noir, this is going, this is just Cat Noir. No ladybug to help, uh, you know, to help him in this situation. Um, so yeah, there's, you know, no ladybug, no ladybug. This is just Cat Noir and Azula throwing down, you know, one-on-one -on -one fight. So Azula, her, you know, she won't have uh, Mayor Ty Lee around. So this, like I said, one-on-one -on -one fight. But yeah, Cat Noir, you know, Adrian is incredible. You know, he's a great hand-to-hand -hand fighter. He's incredibly agile. And of course, we have his, you know, his power of cataclysm, which gives him, you know, the power to literally, t it's literally bad luck at the palm of his hand. Literally anything could be, you know, destroyed or melted away or rusted, something to that, to that degree. It's not known if it could actually do something to organic matter, but it's pretty terrible to anything inorganic. However, after he uses the cataclysm, that's when, you know, his powers, you know, his powers begin to drain. That's when, he, you know, so he really has to use the cataclysm very sparingly. So that's the big thing here. Um... Yeah, like, but like I said, Azula's power doesn't really have a time limit. It doesn't, you know, require Adrian, you know, I mean, excuse me, it doesn't require a recharge, whereas Adrian needs to recharge Plague after, by feeding him. So, that's the big thing between them. Now, as, however, Adrian's got a trick up his sleeve, and it's something that Azula's never been able to really, um, never really been able to, um, deal with. And that is mental stability. Yeah. Azula is not exactly the most, is not the poster child for, men, uh, you know, for, you know, for a strong mental, <clears throat> uh, you know, for strong mentality. What she is good at is just kill, kill, kill. However, um, it's very clear that she can get, she can lose focus and lose her sanity uh, very quick. She can get very hot tempered very fast. The other thing is that, you know, you fire her up good enough, she's gonna, she might lose focus. But that's really hard to do because Azula, if it's one thing focus, if it's one thing she's good at, it's focus. So that's gonna be a, tr a problem for Adria. But however, if you get under her skin good enough, then you might have a chance. And trust me, one of the best things Adrian is good at is getting under people's skin. So more than likely, he's going to get under uh, Azula's skin really fucking fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, that suit of his, yeah, that thing is not fireproof. You know, what with having a face and all, and leather burns really easily. So yeah, he's going to be feeling that fire. He's going to be feeling that fire. And Azula is just as agile and, you know, and she can also take some punishment. She can take some major punishment. Now, the big thing is that while um, Cat Noir has no project, uh, you know, projectile weapons, his staff, on the other hand, can extend. Extend to, like, oh, say as tall as the Eiffel Tower at some points. So, yeah, he can... <clears throat> his staff, you know, his bow staff can, you know, reach at far lengths, but it's, you know, he's not really a killer. That's the other thing that differentiates... Um, Cat Noir from Azula, is that Azula, you know, Cat Noir, he's never really dealt with anyone, you know, like Azula. He's mostly dealt with villains who were just people who were turned evil, so he had to literally help, and it was Ladybug who handled all the de-evilizing. Azula's just pure evil, and there's no off switch for that one. That, that's the big thing here, is that there's no off switch, you know, there's no little Akuma for, you know, Azula to, you know, to de-evilize Azula with. And even if there was, that would require Ladybug. Cat Noir can't do shit about it, unfortunately. So, yeah. He's gonna have to take her down hard and fast. Bounce-ka-bow-wow. And... <laughs> 
it's going to be uh, it's going to be a very difficult fight for him because again he's going to have to get in close and Azula's not going to let him get in close because that fi- you know her fire bending can be shot at in just deadly accuracy just total deadly you know precision let's not also forget that she's one of the few benders in the world who can you know bend lightning you know that thing that could kill you in one hit so but however that's not direct you know that requires a lot of uh strength and talent, and that, requ- and you know, she needs to stay still for that. She needs to stay still for her using her lightning. She has to ground herself. So, yeah, she can do it multiple times, but she leaves herself open for, you know, being struck by lightning. That's the major thing, is that she can, you know, she can, ho- you know, she has to hold herself steady to use that lightning. However, Cat Noir can just keep bouncing around, and it, but if it hits him, that's it. It's over. Yeah. Now, the, like I said earlier, Cat Noir doesn't kill. That's the big thing, is that he does not kill. Azula, on the other hand, ain't going to have a problem with that. She's just going to be like, oh, you don't kill? Oh, oh, oh you just made this way easier for me. I'm, I am going to torch your ass. But yeah. Now, the other thing is that Azula sometimes gets a little too arrogant. She gets a little too arrogant, and Cat Noir gets a little... He's kind of like Spider-Man in the sense that, you know, he always has to keep talking to keep himself occupied and keep the other, vil- you know, the enemies off his off their game. So, <clears throat> however, sometimes he gets, a, you know, Adrian himself gets a little cocky at points, and that leaves him open for an attack. That, you know, that really does uh, damage... His, uh, you know, really, da- I wouldn't say damage. That's that's the wrong word. It really, uh, it really throws him off his game when he just thinks, "Oh yeah, I'm Cat Noir. I am a total badass." Oh, what what the fuck? There's a giant hole in me. What the shit? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is uh, another tough battle to call. Um, yeah, because again, Azula, you know, Cat Noir needs to get in close, and Azula isn't going to let him get in close. So, this is a really, this is a, yeah, this is a tough one right here. A one, uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys are probably thinking, shit, I don't know either. <laughs> but I'm really curious to see who you guys would, uh, do you think would come out on top. If you think Azula would win, put hashtag Azula wins, and list off the reasons why you think she would come out on top in this fight... Or on the other hand, if you think um, Cat Noir would come out on top, just put hashtag Cat Noir wins and list off the reasons why you think he would, you know, ha- why you think he would win. Sorry, I got a little tongue tied there. But yeah, um, really curious to see what you guys have to say about this one. Really interested to see, you know, I thought this would be a pretty unique. I thought about it and I was like, yeah, that's a pretty interesting fight. Let's. I wonder what everyone else would think of this if Azula and Cat Noir threw down. Also, minor side note, I love this fan art. I love this piece of uh, Cat Noir fan art. And I would love to thank the artist, but I really don't know who the artist is. So if the artist is watching, I, you know, th- you know, I think this is beautiful. And if I could get, get a link to your, you know, Tumblr or DeviantArt or wherever you do your artwork, I'd be happy to put a link there for the, uh, for, you know, as a way of saying thank you. And, yeah. Again, yeah. I, again, I just don't know who did the artwork, so I can't really give a proper shout-out. Anyway, so again, uh, really looking forward to seeing what, who you guys think would win, Azula or Cat Noir. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.